Tonight, a Grand Rapids woman faces second degree murder charges. It's after police say she flew down Stadium Drive going almost 100 miles per hour and crashed into another driver. It happened on November 24th, which was also Black Friday. Police say Naira Whitelow was going nearly twice the legal limit when she crashed into a car with a couple inside. A woman was killed in the crash as well as her dog. That woman's boyfriend, Gavin Vinstra, who was also in the car, is still recovering six months later. I spoke to his family who are still trying to make sense of how this all happened. Shattered glass and bent up pieces of a black Subaru scattered across Stadium Drive. The aftermath of a horrendous crash that changed Gavin Vinstra's life. The MSU alumni lost his girlfriend Audrey Hensley and a dog in one day, all while getting seriously hurt himself when a car hit them. There's tremendous loss personally for the loved ones, the family of someone who's lost a loved one. There's tremendous loss to the community. A split instant is all it took. Police say Naira Whitelow was soaring down stadium at 97 miles per hour, nearly twice the posted speed limit of 45. It's a busy stretch of road, even busier on that Black Friday. Police say Whitelow's Dodge Charger smashed into Vinstra's Subaru, then hit another car. It's extraordinarily fast, right? It would be fast, as you said, for someone who was on one of our interstate highways where the legal speed limit is 70 miles an hour. White load charged with reckless driving and second degree murder, a more serious charge according to prosecutor Jeff Getting. Not only are they doing something that they know or should know is dangerous for somebody else, but it's so dangerous that the likelihood, the natural tendency of those actions is that someone is going to be severely hurt or killed. Hurt and healing has been Vinstra's life without his girlfriend for the past six months. He's had to have numerous surgeries repairing fractures to the left side of his body. We end up charging reckless driving causing serious injury, but that hardly seems sufficient when someone has had these life-altering injuries and is going to be dealing with the impact not just for the next few months but in likelihood for the rest of their lives. According to probable cause documents, White Low admitted to speeding that day because she was, quote, running late to drop off items to a friend at Bronson Hospital. A $50,000 bond has been set and she's scheduled to be back in court early this month.